Judas, what's your report? Well, the school teacher that tried to form a task force to expose satanic activity in the school system, he suddenly lost interest when his wife fell ill. I don't think we'll have any troubles with him anymore. Goat, what do you have for us? So far, they don't suspect a thing. Everything is going according to plan. You're weak. You don't intend to go through with this. Satan is not pleased. You know your choices. It's either him or you. Tonight, it will happen. Doug Collins, come against you in the name of our master. You will no longer wreak havoc to the kingdom of darkness. You know, I was going to preach tonight, but I really feel like we need to pray. The Bible says that our battle is not with flesh and blood, but it's with principalities and powers and spiritual weakness in high places. And I sense like there, there's been a real oppression against some of us. I think, I, I think Satan has really tried to attack some of us. And 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, Clarence. Isn't that right? We don't have carnal weapons, but we've got mighty weapons that can pull down strongholds. And we've got to pull down some strongholds tonight that Satan has tried to put up. And we're going to do that through prayer. Jesus has already given us the victory. All we need to do to enforce it is pray and use the weapons he's given us. So let's do that right now. Everybody, let's begin to pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us victory tonight. And we bind the powers of darkness. We tell you, Satan, that you're defeated by the power of the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And in Jesus' name, we speak to you, you demons. Boy, what a powerful night tonight. I know we won a victory in the spirit. Oh, you better believe it. I'm sure going to miss this place. These people. You. Cheryl, I'm going to miss you, too. Connie, I don't understand. Why is God making me leave here? It's not fair being yanked up and moved to some unknown place on the other side of the country. I know, but think about the great promotion your dad's got. And I know you'll find a good youth group. I don't want another youth group. This is my youth group. These are my friends. Why is this happening? Cheryl, listen. Romans 8, 28 says that all things work together for those that love God and are called according to His purpose. And He's faithful. Thanks, Connie. I'm really going to miss these times with you. You've always been there when I need you. And you've always been there for me, too. Remember, you've always got AT&T. Right. Well, I didn't see Lance here tonight, Clarence. Wonder if we'll ever see him again. You bet we will. He's still got my swimming trunks. Yeah, he left all his clothes at my house. We'll see him again. Thank you. 
you are. Thank you, Jesus, for your protection. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you that you're watching over this house. I thank you, Lord, that it says in, in Psalms 91 that I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, that I abide under your shadow, Lord God Almighty, that a thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it doesn't come nigh me. Jesus' name. in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I had a real burden to pray. I think it had something to do with the birds. The birds? What do you mean? Are you sleepwalking? No. When I got home tonight from the solid rock, I found a dead pigeon at my front doorstep. It's really gross. It died of unnatural causes. I think there was a struggle. That is sick, Stanley. Who would do something like that? I don't know. It really sounds kind of different to me. Come on and take a look. We didn't even take a look. You didn't bring the pigeon here, did you? Yeah, he's in my little red wagon out here on the ledge. Are you kidding? No, come on. Just a minute. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, man, that is gross. Yeah, I don't know what happened to his head. <laughs> Lance, what are you doing here? Lance! Lance, what are you doing in my room? I've got you right where I want you now, Collins. You're a dead man. What do you mean, a dead man? The master wants you dead tonight. Who is your master, Lance? Satan. He is not. You got saved the other night. I faked that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, I break your power over Lance's life. You shut up! In the name of Jesus Christ, the name that's above every name, Satan, your power is stripped shut in up. Lance's life. It's stripped! Shut up! It's stripped! Shut up! Help me! <laughs> Now, Lance, listen to this. This is Revelation 20:10, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Simple truth, man. Satan loses and God wins. Lance, look at me. The name of Jesus is much more powerful than any power that Satan has. If you will call on the name of Jesus, you will be saved because God loves you. See, Satan hates you. He came to steal, kill, and destroy you. But Jesus came to give you life. Look, I know God loves me. You guys have shown me that. You opened up your house to me when you didn't even know me, and no one has ever trusted me before. Not like that. Yesterday, Doug saved my life. But I just can't serve Jesus. They'd kill me. Who'd kill you? You guys just don't understand, do you? You just don't understand. I am a Satanist. I belong to a coven. I've been lying to you all along. I have an apartment here in town. I live over in Willowwood. Doug, Satan commissioned me through my high priest to come here and kill you. Satan hates you. Well, what a coincidence. I don't exactly like him. Lance, who is your high priest? I can't tell you that. They kill me. Where do you meet? We, we meet in an old burned out church. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Who is he, man? 
He can't kill you. Man, I shouldn't be telling you this. His name is Rocky Travers. Rocky Travers wants to kill me because I wouldn't let his little brother start on our Little League baseball team? Doug, it's more than that. You've been recruiting a lot of people to God, and they don't like that. They see you as a threat, Doug. And I'm going to get killed for this. Lance, Jesus Christ is your only hope. You need to get serious about your relationship with Jesus Christ. You need to repent of your sins and turn your back completely on the devil and turn your face completely toward Jesus. Lance, Jesus loves you. <laughs> doesn't feel right. Something's gone wrong. Goat's blown it. We've got to take action. Gee, that was a heavy thing that happened last night. Did you ever suspect that Rocky and Lance were involved in Satanism? Not really. You know, I thought Rocky was a little strange with all those heavy metal t-shirts he wore and that pentagram sign he had on his jacket. But I never actually thought he was serious about it. I mean, that's the type of thing you would find in L.A. or New York. Not here in your hometown. Yeah. You know, I really believe God did a work in Lance's heart, though, last night. I think Clarence and I are going to stop by his apartment on the way home just spend some time with him. Well, listen, can I walk you to your door? No, I can't. Oh, come on, why not? Clarence has been quite a burden today. Oh, Cheryl, don't go. Cheryl, don't go. Clarence, get up. Get in the car. You can play with the windows, okay? Okay. Cheryl, I'm going to miss you so much. Doug, I'll be in the car. Clarence, all right. Yeah, right. Well, I guess this is it, huh? Yeah, I guess this is it. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. Well, let's not say goodbye, all right? Let's just say goodnight and uh, pretend like we'll, we'll see each other again tomorrow. Well, good night, Doug. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Clarence, his door's wide open. Lance, what's going on here? Lance! 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 It's not here, Clarence. We have the traitor! Satan will have his flesh and blood offering tonight. Your blood and your flesh! because you betrayed him. I know, boy, I tell you, I sure would keep my apartment a lot cleaner if I was living alone. The Satanists have kidnapped him, Clarence. Dad, be home. Connie, get Dad now. Well, then get Mom. And Connie, the Satanists have kidnapped Lance. No, I don't know where they took him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Lance said they met in an old burned-out church. There's one on a hill on the east side. We're, we're going to go over there right away. You call the police. Have them meet us there, okay? Pray like you've never prayed before. All right, bye. Come on, friends. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you, you evil.
evil spirits in Jesus' name. I tell you to take your hands off of Lance right now. And I've shed the power of God's light over that area, wherever they are, in the name of Jesus. No, please! Please, no! Nothing you say can save you now. Prepare to meet the master. Help me! Satan, into your hands I commit this pig. No, please! Please, no! There's a church, Clarence. This must be it. Come on! Please help me. If you will call on the name of Jesus, you will be saved. Jesus! Help me! I don't think this is the right place. I don't see anybody. I'm here, man. 